All right, Time Magazine rolled out the red carpet last night for its new list of the 100 most influential people in the world. We were there to talk to the evening's special guests, and we asked each of them the same four questions. 100 individual stories of accomplishment and inspiration. Together, they shape our culture. From world leaders and inventors to artists and athletes, from shattering stereotypes to influencing policy, this is Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World. Bradley, what advice would you have given your younger self? I would say, um, don't be afraid to be yourself. I wish I had more confidence growing up. You insecure as a kid? Not really insecure, I was just really shy. What advice would you have given to your younger self? You go first. Me? Yeah, you go You're first. You're being honored. You go first. Oh, come on. <laughs> I realized really early on that I should be my best friend. I, I don't listen to advice. I have to figure it all out through living it. Relax, it's gonna work out. How about you, Faith? Probably not to take things so seriously. What an uptight couple. Yeah. <laughs> Adore everything. Everything. Mm. The bad with the good. I'm still learning that one. You're plenty thin. Stop <laughs> worrying about your body, child. What advice would you have given your younger self? Just calm down, it'll be okay. You are actually anointed, you're beautiful, and your dreams will come true. You just have to continue to believe and work hard. Describe falling in love for the first time. It's something about not being able to breathe, but that being okay. It's the only time when I remember not being hungry. You think you know so much about love when you're really young, and then you look back later and probably realize that it's not what you thought it was. I didn't think I deserved love, and I was not able to receive it um, when it happened, and it was the scariest thing in the world. Describe falling in love for the first time. Oh, it took my breath away. For the first time, before you know that it's hell? A magic carpet ride on a snow-covered field. I felt sick to my stomach, and I went, oh, this, is this what it is? But maybe I had the flu. It's like standing on the top of a very, very tall building and you feel a little nauseous and a little dizzy, but basically really exhilarated. Time is running out for me to... Become a professional athlete. Yes, it is. What would the sport be? Basketball. Enjoy wow. my daughter's youth. Wow. Oh, well, that's gonna make me cry. Okay. My fiance and I would love to have a child. At least one, maybe more. Time is always running out, I feel like. There's never enough time to spend with your family and the people that you love. For me to be present for my, my wife and my, 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 my kids. You make me look like a horrible person. Okay, let's do it again, and take two. For me to be a better mother. Let me think, well, can I do a, yeah. another second? Time is running out. Hold on, <laughs> Mr. Cooper wants a second check. I didn't right. realize there was a wreck, wow. All right, time is running out for me to uh, become friends with Matt Lauer. <laughs> no, <laughs> is there time, because it feels like it's not we going well. Time is running out for me to have kids. I'm 33, but I can like feel my last egg about to drop. My favorite school lunch when I was a kid kid was? The powdered chocolate and you put it in the milk and shook it up. That was your lunch? That was my favorite lunch. Mashed potatoes and whatever it was that they put on top of it. <laughs> I always loved my best friend Allison's lunch because she always got lots of Cheetos and Oreos and I was stuck with really healthy food so I always begged her for some of her lunch. Stromboli, come on. Absolutely, I remember it, yeah. Corn dogs. Easily. I was a very fussy eater as a child. I was like very, very picky. I'd have the same thing every day. Plain pasta. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. They we would, like it was like every once a month they would make stromboli. Peanut butter and fluffer nutter. As a kid, my favorite school lunch was peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Uh, probably uh, uh, PB and J. <laughs> favorite school lunch as a kid was. Ooh, peanut butter and banana sandwich with a little honey. Hmm. Ooh, okay, that so made to me the hungry. crowd here, favorite school lunch? Tater tots and chicken fried steak. That's what they mm. gave us in Texas. <laughs> Tacos, Taco Tuesday. Ooh, yeah. I just liked it when my mom cut my sandwich in like little shapes. And cut the crust off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was nice. Grilled cheese. Oh, oh yeah, but yes. with the tomato soup. Tater tots and anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I do like tater, tater tots. tots. <laughs> no one said foie gras. I'm surprised. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>